here is the lineup. And you see the favourite there. Number five, Biat Bursch, now 44 years old, also got a medal in the World Championships in Doha last year. Took a bronze medal there. Bursch, who was the Swiss flag bearer in the 2012 Paralympics, broke his black back in a gymnastics accident when he was very much younger. And now one of the top Paralympians, and of course, hoping for success when he gets to Rio in the autumn. So here is the lineup. Let's look at a man for man there in lane three. Artem Shiskovsky, 30 years old, silver medalist in the Euros in 2014, also a bronze in the 400 and the 1500. Alongside him, Mario Trindade of Portugal, 41 years old. Bronze in the Europeans a couple of years ago. Second fastest man in the field on paper this year. And there's the favourite, 44 year old Biat Bursch, the defending champion. Paralympic medals as well as his European and world success. Paralympic medals in 2004 and in Beijing in 2008. And completing the lineup closest to us, there's 48 year old Kestutis Skoukas. Married man with two young daughters, started off as a swimmer, now competing in the wheelchair athletics. Trindade, incidentally, the Portuguese in lane four, president of the Portuguese National Association of Wheelchair Athletics, and once upon a time set a wheelchair world record for a distance done in 24 hours. Now, though, all about 100 metres. Set. And who gets the best start? Looks as though it may be Trindade who's gone out well, but look at Bursch now, pushing wonderfully well in lane five, and Bursch is in front, being pursued by Trindade and Shitskovsky on the far side, but this is going to be another victory for the formidable Swiss athlete, streaks across the line, time is a slow one, into the wind, Mario Trindade taking second, Artem Shitskovsky third, and Kestutis Skoukas finishing back in fourth place, so the form book continues to be proven and the outstanding Bias Burst, who's been an international athlete now for some 18 years, takes the gold. Winning time didn't really matter, but he was emphatically number one there. Well, it's all about the medals when it comes to championship racing. And he really showed his quality here. It's not a bad field, Mario Trindad, uh, the Portuguese, regularly making major championship finals. Shikovsky as well, in experience as well. But just look at Bosch go from around the midway point. And from there, he wasn't going to be beaten. Brilliantly experienced. The fortunate thing from his point of view is that he's stayed in the IPC athletic scene up to a point where he's competing in front of full stadiums, the Paralympic Games. And, competing in front of big crowds, and it's another major medal to add to his collection. And as soon as he hit the front, he wasn't going to be beaten there, John. Now, a good start from Trindad. Maybe for the first 15, 20 metres, he may even have headed the favourite. But as you say, once he got into his rhythm, that upper body strength and that technique, keeping the wheels grounded at all times, he just street clear and a very impressive winner of our first track event of the day and now draped in the Swiss flag, the smile says it all. And there's confirmation of the results and look at that wind there, a 2.4 metre headwind. I wouldn't be surprised if at times it's going to gust harder than that. Gold for the Swiss, Biat Bursch, silver for Mario Trindad of Portugal and third place being taken by Artem Shiskovsky the in relatively in less experienced Russian.